I'm all up in the clouds when it's pouring rain. Ain't never coming down. This is the first time I am using my laptop camera. Um, I forgot to film an intro, so I'm doing that now. Um, hi, it's been a while. My name's Caitlin. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I still make videos. I just kind of forgot how to do it for a while, but um, I am making videos. So yeah, um, a few things have changed. I got a haircut. My hair is curling different. My hair is way more healthier. Um, yeah, so I thought I would make an updated video and show you guys what I've been doing and it's really a no fuss, quick and easy. Honestly, it's such a reliable routine. I know my hair is going to turn out good every single time. And yeah, so if you if you are like me, you need something quick, on the go, wash and go type of thing, this is the video for you. And this usually takes me around like 5-10 minutes, honestly. It took me a lot longer for this video though, just because I was talking and stuff. But yeah, it is a pretty quick routine. Um, yeah, hope you enjoy it. So currently I am using the Herbal Essence Hello Hydration um, Shampoo and Conditioner. I think I've mentioned this in past videos that I do like to use sulfates in my hair because I feel like it cleans my hair better. Um, but that is personal preference. So yeah, I don't really follow the curly girl method. And then I sometimes use, if I'm not, so I won't be using this today because I'm gonna be using the mask. But otherwise, if I was just doing my regular like um, on every other week that I'm not using the mask, I usually use the Aussie 3 Mir Miracle Moist. This is really good, especially on a budget like this. This is a very good deep conditioning conditioner, <laughs> um, in my opinion. I have been using this for years, and I, I really like it. So, that is that nothing crazy this is the hair mask i'm going to be using i don't always use a hair mask um but i do feel like when i use this that my hair does turn out good so of course i want to show you and use it for this video um i probably use it though like maybe once every two or three weeks um more than that i feel like it's too much and then your hair I don't know, personally my hair I feel like just doesn't need it or it's, then it kind of throws off a balance. But anyways, this is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Treatment Mask. Really good. It smells like Play-Doh. I'm not joking. It smells like Play-Doh and I personally love that. Alright, so my camera died in the middle of my shower but for the most part you guys get it after my after using the mask all I do is I leave it on as per the directions so like five to ten minutes and you know I do my other shower stuff and then I use a conditioner and I just rinse that out I'm going to speed this up because I want my hair to be wet when I apply these products and when I say wet I mean like dripping wet like that is one of the number one things that I feel like a lot of people or like I struggled with was not having enough moisture in my hair before applying my products. So guys, your hair has to be wet. Always have a spray bottle just so if you feel like you need more moisture in there, just spray it with water. So the first product that I'm going to be using is the Nutriplenish um, Leave-In Conditioner. This is from Aveda. I love it. There's like nothing left in there almost. So I'm gonna try and squeeze it out. But this is really good and I honestly think this is one of the products that help save my hair because it like it just helped moisturize my hair, make my hair feel soft again, control the frizz. It's it's a really great product. It is a little pricier. Um as are, to be honest, all the Aveda products, but I can honestly say it's a brand that I really love and I feel like a lot of their products 
just work really well for me and it is what it is. So <laughs> I'm gonna start off with the leave-in conditioner. So what I do is I spray it into my hand. So that's kind of what it looks like. I split my hair down the middle, roughly, and I just comb it through. And I will spray some more in my hands as I need it. The reason that I sprayed in my hands is I feel like I have more control over where the product is going and how much I'm putting in. When I spray it just directly into my hair, I just feel like it kind of just gets lost. But yeah, you don't really need a lot, honestly. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna just do the back. Let's, and then just comb it through. And get my ends. So I brush my products through every step and that's because I feel like I get a better even application. Now I know there is um, a lot of controversy over brushing your hair when it's wet. Um, I do try to be pretty gentle I think so and also when my hair has more slip to it I feel like the brush just glides through my hair better than brushing it when it's dry. I know that I get comments about brushing my hair when it's wet. Um, it works for me guys. I'm really sorry, it works for me. And I just can't not do it. Okay, the next product that I'm going to use is the Be Curly Curl Enhancer. And this is honestly one of those products that's kind of just like a one-stop shop product. Like I could, if I wanted to, just use this and be good, run out the door and not have to worry about my hair. Very moisturizing. It is just so easy to use. Like I just, I don't know how else to explain it, but um, so I'm just gonna use about, about that much for my hair. I feel like it's always best to start with a little bit. You can always add more. But yeah, a little bit goes a long way anyways. So again, I just comb this through my hair. And then I go back. And just get some of those roots. So again, I'm just going to brush that through just really lightly, really quickly. Like it's crazy how I can already feel how great my hair feels and I already know it's gonna turn out good. Like I, seriously, I love these products. So as you can see, like I'm always trying to lift my hair off of my head <laughs> lift the roots off of my scalp i don't know but i'm constantly like fluffing my hair and i feel like that really helps me with volume so right now i feel like my hair could use a little bit more moisture before i start scrunching so i'm going to spray it with some water just get it nice wet you will know your hair has enough moisture after you've put your products and you hear that sound. And lastly, so I haven't I hadn't been doing this for quite a while and in the last month or so, I've been using a microfiber cloth and it's just made all the difference. Like I reach for this now, I can't not do it. I don't know why I wasn't doing it for a long time. I feel like I have no idea. I was just using my hands and I just thought that that was good enough and I was getting away with it, but using a, micro, using a microfiber cloth is honestly such a game changer. So I re like they're super inexpensive. I feel like if you really want to see results with your hair, try scrunching the products in using this after it is properly like moisturized and wet after your products basically. Just start switching.
Um, one part of my hair that I feel like I struggle with is the front. Um, I don't know, sometimes I feel like I just have to finger coil it and fix it. It just doesn't work for me all the time. But I am just going to kind of just take the front of my hair and just comb it and then scrunch it. So that's it. That's literally all I do. All from one brand and quick and easy. And that's all I do. I don't diffuse very often anymore. If I do diffuse, it's because I'm looking for more volume. But I feel like right now, with the products that I use, um, the haircut that I have, I'm quite happy with the way that my hair will air dry. I'm going to let my shirt dry, <laughs> let my hair dry, and come back and show you guys how it looks. So it's been a few hours later and my hair is pretty much dry. I mean, there is like a little bit of dampness in it, but for the most part, it's dry. And I guess that is really the only inconvenience part about, I guess, air drying is that, yeah, it does take a long time. Like when I washed my hair, it was light outside and now it's, it's nighttime, but to be quite honest with you, I don't mind that because there are rarely times where I need to have my hair done and I need them and I need my hair to be dry fast because as sad as it may sound, I don't go out quite that often. So I kind of plan when I wash my hair, like I usually wash it on the weekends because I'm usually not doing anything. I'm usually at home doing homework or something like that. So it works out for me. And if there ever is a time that I just need my hair dry, then yeah, I will diffuse it and I can have it done dry and styled probably like in an hour or so. I think I'm gonna change my shirt so you guys can see my hair better. So just give me a second. That should be better, I think. <laughs> So this is how my hair looks and yeah, it has changed a lot and I'm really, really happy so far with how it looks. Um, if I'm gonna be honest with you, no, my hair does not look like this every day of the week. It will probably look like this for two, three days max because I'm too lazy to put in effort to sleep with it properly and refresh it and stuff like that. But um, I will for the first two days because I mean I did take time out of my day to wash it and style it so I will I'll give my hair that I really just wanted to put this video out because I get it curly hair is a lot of effort and if I can share with you guys how I take out the chore in doing my hair then I thought I would because I'm just not about it sometimes like I a lot of the times I literally just put in the curl enhancer um, cream. You want a recommendation? I would try this one out again. Like I said, this is not sponsored. This is me literally just sharing with you a really good product that I genuinely love. And I feel like, yeah, you could just use this and just this alone. The hairstylist that I used to go to, she actually used to mix this and the Confixer gel together and put that in my hair. That is also an option. There are ways that you can take out the, you know, the chore in doing your hair and you just have to find what works for you. Um, putting the leave-in conditioner while you're already in the shower, again, like it just becomes routine and it feels like less of a step because like you're in the shower already. So you're already used to like putting products in your hair so why not squirt, squirt, and you're done. So really all I wanna do is just to inspire you to keep trying if you feel like you're not getting results or to just start to embrace what you naturally have and to genuinely love what you naturally have and to just have fun with it because honestly, yes, it, it does take work and effort to figure out your own hair and no one 
will be able to give you the roadmap. There are no 100% like this is the steps you have to follow. Your hair is different than everybody else's hair and there are tips and tricks that you can learn from but again you sometimes just have to tweak things to what you like, what is comfortable for you, what is um, that works in your routine or in your day-to-day -day life to be honest. What I think looks nice on me may not be what you think looks nice on you if that makes sense like I, I went to a salon and she did my hair and she did she did a really good job but to be honest it was just not my type like it was not my style like she did it and it was really clumped up together like I don't like my hair like that I like when my hair is separate and it feels and looks more effortless rather than like super defined I like my hair to match my personality and I, I think I'm a pretty chilled person <laughs> like I am or a casual person so I don't want my hair to look too defined or too done up like I like it to match me if that makes sense I don't know but like I said so there's no there's no right or wrong way to do it there is a right and wrong way for you though so don't take it too seriously seriously that is it for this video and I'm really really happy that I filmed it. I'm really happy that I was able to do this and I hope I will make more. So if you have any suggestions, please leave them down below. I really do want to make videos. I just don't know what to make them about. So help me out, give me some ideas and that's it for this video. So I will see you next time. Bye. I'm all up in the clouds when I'm